Hi everybody, welcome to Craft Lacquer Nail Studio. I'll be doing acrylic and gel designs with 3D and even 4D sculpting and of course, bling. I will also be sharing some tips for growing beautiful, healthy, natural nails and how to deal with nail product allergies. There will be affiliate links for the products I use in the description box below. Please like and subscribe and please hit the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. So in this video, I'm going to be creating the beautiful 3D Christmas French. I'm going to use a red gel, red glitter, and a really pretty, what I like to call silver pearl gel that I actually made just for this project. I'm going to start from scratch and build a nail using a clear acrylic. I don't want this too thick, but I do want it to be really strong. Um, I usually use one large bead of acrylic for the free edge and a smaller bead for the nail bed. That's just to keep it from being stained by the dark colors that I do tend to use from time to time. I'm using this beautiful cover pink acrylic to sculpt a nail bed with a rounded edge, which is actually just a personal preference for this particular design. As I'm pointing the nail down, I'm gently pushing the acrylic towards the cuticle so I don't flood it and it's flush with the nail and helps prevent lifting. I want the edge to be pretty high so it shows off the really cool 3D effect and makes the apex strong. The apex should be where the quick of your natural nail and product meet. Your product is ready for filing when you tap on it and hear a clicking sound. I'll spare you the filing parts, otherwise it's going to be a lengthy video. Well, as you can see, I am a bit out of frame here. Sorry about that. There were some stubborn filing particles I had to deal with. So I went ahead and removed the form so I can see where I'm placing product more easily. And since I made a strong foundation, I really don't need it anyway. I can't express to you how much better this design turns out when I file the edges. I tried it without filing, thinking I sculpted them sharp enough, but it just didn't look as nice. And having a clean, crisp edge to work with, I can apply the red gel and the glitter. But first, I am going to apply a thin coat of clear to make sure my dark colors don't bleed into my lighter ones. I learned that lesson the hard way when I used a red and white next to each other, and it turned out really bad. It's worth the few extra seconds it takes to apply and cure the gel. And here comes that beautiful red. Since I have to put the glitter on pretty thin, I put a thin coat of red gel on first, and that way it creates a more opaque background. It would probably be smarter to use a gel that has a lot of glitter in it, but I am already committed. So I think I'll definitely be doing that next time. Now that I have a nice solid background, I'm ready for the glitter. You can use a clear gel if you're not already using a glitter gel, but I'm going to use a very small bead of clear acrylic and mix the glitter into it. The acrylic should be fairly wet and on the runny side so it's not so thick and spreads more evenly. I usually do one side at a time so the acrylic doesn't cure on the other side while I'm carefully placing the glitter exactly where I want it. I'm not going to push it all the way up to the top of the edge because when I do the final filing, it could cut into it, making it silver when I want it to be red. This design is so, so cool, but it does take a while, so take your time and make sure every application has sharp lines or it won't have that 3D effect. I would totally take the time to do this on myself, but unfortunately, I am allergic to the nail products, which is why I'm wearing the nitrile gloves. These are six mil in thickness, and they do a great job protecting my skin from the chemicals. I do have an affiliate link for these down below, and I'm gonna be making a video about nail product allergies in the near future. So if anyone wants to ask a question or share an allergy experience, please put it in the comment section, and I'll do my best to put it in the next video.
Okay, I'm just going to make sure that my glitter is in place and it's cured and ready for me to apply the acrylic right on top of it. I usually use one bead that's not too wet and put it right in the center so all I have to do is drag it backward over the top and pull it around the side so it covers the glitter completely. Then I shape it and it's ready for filing once it's cured. As I'm sculpting my way down to the end of the free edge, I make each section a little lower than the last one to reduce filing time and, well, it just makes more sense. When I first did this design, I think I was a little too excited and the top and sides were so thick that even with an e-file, it took a very long time and it was actually pretty ugly. Another lesson learned, sharp lines, sides narrow, and each section a little lower than the last one. I love how this silver pearl looks, but it is pretty translucent, so I'm going to apply two coats of it. But before I do that, I'm going to use two coats of the white gel to give me a nice solid background, just like I did with the red gel. Plus, the white really makes the silver stand out. I am putting them on really thin so they don't take up a lot of space and ruin the effect. I'm also going to skip the clear coat over the acrylic this time because the lighter colors usually don't bleed. Again, I'm making sure my lines are sharp and even on both sides. And I know I'm being repetitive, but it really makes a difference. And you'll see what I mean when you try this design. And you should really try it at least once. You might even discover a different technique or a, a new 3D effect. Uh, let me know how it turns out in the comment section. Ah, finally the silver pearl gel I've been talking so much about. I made this with a clear builder gel, a shimmery white pigment powder, and some finely ground light silver glitter. Sorry I don't have the exact measurements, I just usually guess how much I need and experiment until I like the color. But the products I use will be in the affiliate links below. So I'm just going to put two coats exactly over the white and pay close attention to any lumps or bumps and smooth them out before I put them in the lamp to cure because they will be noticeable, especially in metallic gels. Once this is cured, it'll be ready for the next section of clear acrylic. Before I put the next section of clear acrylic on, I'm going to make sure I don't see any lumps or ripples and have to fix it with yet another coat of silver. And it looks pretty good, so I'm going to apply the acrylic the same way as before. One big bead that's not too wet, put it in the center, drag it over the top, and pull it around the sides, covering all of the silver. I made the sections a little wider towards the end of the free edge, but you can do them all the same size or start out wide and go narrow, however you choose to do it because it really all looks pretty cool. Okay, when I come back, I'll have finished the last two sections and the final filing so I can apply the top coat. all filed and ready for the top coat. This part is so exciting because it really makes everything seem to come to life. And it gives you bragging rights for a job well done. Oh my goodness, look at that. I have to say, it is gorgeous. I had so much fun doing this design and making this video. 
I really hope you enjoyed it and you come back and visit my channel again to see more. Thank you so much for watching.